somebody asked a question about microtones okay. and uh, so what is the significance of microtones not role significance of microtones in indian music so you know there are two three two three ways in which you can look at microtones or the meaning of microtones so typically what happens in indian music particularly in classical music is uh, the swara doesn't come as one point so when it, this is sa so now if we are playing by this is it Staccato connections. So two swara will always be connected in a particular manner as defined by the rag. But before going there, there are there are again two parts of the question. I think one way of looking at the microtones is the correct position of them. So this knee. Its distance from the dha or the sa has to be that specific point. Mm-hmm. This is not the neo bagish. Mm-hmm. This is closer to the neo of Markov. I think when we when we look at Markov, we will see. But this one. This knee here is closer to the diva. Neda madani. There is a specific point which you have to hit to make it the knee of Bhagesh. And this will apply to every swar, in every raag, including the shuddha swar. So, for example, we were just playing uh, the re of Bhagesh. Re is a is is a bit different. So the ray of Bhagavad Gita and the ray of Bhup, you will see a perceptible difference. Even though ray is a shuddha swara, mm-hmm. so for every swara to become the swara of the raga, to belong to the raga, it has to find its own correct position. That is one of the aspects of microtonal placement. Mm-hmm. The second is we never just hit that point. That point will always have. a speck of another note attached to it swara doesn't come in isolation swara always comes in connection with another swara now this connection again will be defined by the raga it could be just the kana kana means you just apply so let me the so this art takes the yeah. kana of ni This knee is coming from the sa as a mean. So every swar will either come with a kan or a mean or in a gamma. So that is this the next way of looking at the matter. Mm-hmm. Swar will never be alone by itself as a point. It will always connect to another note. And when you go on doing this, connecting again now. So when you make a phrase. Now imagine the phrase consists of five swara, and then each swara again is 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 a complex composite of one, two, three swara, mm-hmm. and this is how you go on connecting. So the first phrase of Bhag Bhagish then comes as. So I what did I do? I taken the kind of dha for the me, and I actually came from the sa. Mm. <laughs> This is 
स्पाइट कॉम्प्लेक्स ये सामने नी 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 सुधीर नी ऑलरेडी something which again i think it's it's a, it's 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 musical as well as cultural uh, it's a cultural thing you know mm-hmm. so unless you uh, do this and now imagine in, in, uh, playing the entire bagashri you're going to keep doing this for every note every phrase every phrase is a is a further complex composite of such small small segments and everything is then so then this becomes the uh, so the, the whole picture then is rather than one single line going you so see there is a melody of uh, there is a line of melody going but that line is full of ornamental you know embellishments mm-hmm. so the whole thing is always coming as an embellished thing as mm-hmm. as a very floral kind of thing. otherwise the melody would sound as a very simple just simple line so this is not a line this line is decorated you know on on, on every at every point it takes in this 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 and then it, it, it sort of creates a much much more uh, i would say complex and fulfilling culture you know you get a very fulfilled picture so this is the role of microcosm so one find the right spot to know the connection between if you if you have a phrase of a rag find exactly how the connection is and the every note in that phrase has to have the kana or the mean or a bit of a khatta or a murti so the, the ornamentation this is all known as alankara so all this makes it a complete phrase and only then that phrase becomes a part of your rag So this is this is microtonal uh, singing, <laughs> and this is uh, you know you so this cannot be learned through grammar. Okay. See, grammar gives you notation, and notation gives you just the string. Mm-hmm. So I think one has to understand that there is so much beyond. So what is beyond the notation? This is beyond. Mm-hmm. 